So, we go to another next problem. Okay. Alright, so we have another problem that I would like to discuss with you. This problem involves what we call as heat exchanger. So, what is the concept of heat exchanger? Heat exchanger, as shown in this particular diagram, is where actually there is a warm fluid that is coming in which will warm the cold flow here and then uh, the, 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 the fluid that is coming inside here will will actually come out here okay after it has circling around here it will come out here this is the flow out from this point and then there is some cold fluid in and then it is a warmer fluid that it will be got out from here so that is the concept of heat exchanger you will learn more about this in your process heat transfer for chemical engineering students okay so when we talk about the heat exchanger itself right so when the, there is some fluid that is coming in so the temperature of course the temperature at this particular point if let's say i name it as t1 this will be definitely higher than the t2 if let's say i name this as t3 and this is t4 the t4 will have a higher temperature than the t3 itself okay so the problem right now, you are given the saturated steam at the gauge pressure, okay, gauge pressure, remember the term gauge, of 2 bar is to be used to heat a stream of ethane, okay. So, imagine right now, you have a saturated steam coming inside here, which is to heat the stream of ethane. So, ethane is coming from here, from 16 degrees Celsius, until it reach 93 degrees Celsius, okay. And the, the pressure is 1.5. 1.5 bar gauge at a rate of 795 meter cube okay so remember that is a term here is meter cube per minute the steam condenses and leaves the exchanger as a liquid at 27 degrees Celsius which means that so here we didn't we are not given the temperature but you know that it is at 2 bar so you know that you can get from the steam table what will be the temperature and then the steam condensed and leave the exchanger as a liquid at 27 degrees Celsius. So it comes up here at 27 degrees Celsius as liquid. Right? The specific enthalpy of ethane at given pressure is 941 kilojoule per kilogram at 16 degrees Celsius and 1073 kilojoule per kilogram at 93 degrees Celsius. So if you rearrange back this diagram into 2D diagram, you will have something like this. Okay? And then there is a flowing in. So this is saturated steam. And this is, uh, you have liquid water here. Okay, which is at 27 degree. So you have here at 27 degree Celsius liquid. And then you have saturated stream where you can know the temperature at from the steam table. And then you have 16 degree of ethane coming in and 90 degree of ethane coming out, being heated, right, at a constant pressure at 1.5 bar gauge. And then this is 2.0 bar gauge, okay. And then how much energy kilowatt must be transferred to the ethane to heat it from 16 degree to 9, 93 degrees Celsius. So you know that there, there is a heat exchange here. So the uh, heat that is being used here from the saturated steam will be transferred to heat up this particular stream. So we wanted to know how much energy, which is in kilowatt, must be transferred to ethane to make sure that it reaches 93 degrees Celsius. That's the first question. The second question is, assuming that all energy transferred from the steam goes to heat the ethane. Okay. So if let's say... Uh, we assume that all the energy from the steam goes straight to the heating at what rate in meter cube per second must steam be supplied to the exchange so the question is asking about what rate that it should be supplied to make sure that the temperature of ethane is rising from 19 to 16 from to 90, 93 degrees celsius so if the assumption is correct will be the calculated value be too high or too low so this is a hot question high or the skill question should we go for counter current heat exchanger or co current heat exchanger? Okay, so let me share with you the solution. 